Hi, Dad. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I'm standing uh, right outside the office. Yeah, I know. Uh, I reached. I'm already here. I'll call you later. Bye. I'm here to meet uh, the manager. Uh, would you know where he might be? Oh, uh, you're the new employee, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll just contact him. Just a minute. Hello? Uh, sir, the new employee is here. Yeah, alright. Okay, sure, sure. He'll be over just a minute. Could you please take a seat? Uh, the manager will be here in 10 15 minutes, okay? Okay. than expected. You know, keen to start on a new job, eh? So, Vince, uh, <coughs> allow me to welcome you to our establishment. Um, my name is Matthew. I'm going to be the head of your division. And uh, I hope you're going to get used to the must-dos and must-don'ts around here, because we don't like slow learners. Um, I Thank you. I hope the same as well. You seem to be a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, is this the first time you are in a workspace environment? Uh, well, uh, as you know, I just got out from college and uh, this is my first job. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I remember you telling me something about that. Um, yeah, let me show you the ropes so that you can feel right at home. Uh, probably get a cup of coffee before you start. Uh, there's a coffee machine right in the break room. You do drink coffee, don't you? Yes, I do. So, uh, we have some uh, ground rules here. Uh, first and foremost, uh, no personal calls on the floor uh, unless it's an emergency. And uh, then again, you need to check with your supervisors and your higher ups. Uh, otherwise, you know, you might lose your job. <laughs> One minute. Right, so this right here is your desk. Feel free to decorate it as much as you like, but nothing excessive, okay? And um, we're probably gonna get you a computer soon. Okay, so this is your inbox, and this is your outbox. The inbox is for the files that you need to work on during the day, and the outbox is for the files that you're done with. The key is to pace yourself. Now you might get work uh, which would last you about 12 hours, but you must finish it in it. Sometimes you might get work that uh, will last you about four to five hours, but you must stretch it out to eight. The key 
is eight. Catch the drift. Mm -hmm. uh, you left this at the front desk. Yeah. Oh, there is Sandra, our receptionist. What was that? Shanti. Anyway, she's just a temp. They keep coming and going. They always say, no, it's not worth the money that I'm getting paid. <laughs> um, yeah, never get too attached to them. Be too sad when they leave otherwise. I'll keep that in mind. And over there, we have the men's restroom. And next to that is the women's washroom. The reason I say women's washroom is because there are some people like Russell. No, no, not that one. Little more to your right. Little more? Yeah, that's him. Yo, Russell. What happened? Women's restroom occupied? Well, maybe he just gets a kick out of it and it brightens up his dull life, you know? So we let it slide. Uh, let's get a little closer to your cubicle neighbors, shall we? This is Akhil. Akhil is a uh, little less interested in his uh, small screen on his laptop than the widescreen view he's getting at the cubicle. Hi. Oh. Hey, glad to be acquainted. Come along. Well, Akhil is in love with Nancy. They both take the bus every day to and fro. For, La for Akhil, it's the highlight of his day. For Nancy, however, it's just another crowded bus ride. He's been hung up over her for about two years now. Don't ask me how I know all of this, because if I have to tell you, then you'll have to be let go. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I follow. This is Gita. Do not approach Gita. The reason you do not approach Gita is because once she made a joke about a fellow colleague's husband's passing away. It turns out it happened exactly to every minute detail. Another reason being is Mohit. Hi Mohit. Six more hours. Mohit made the mistake of asking uh, Lita to sit with him at an office party simply because he felt that uh, she was alone. Let's just say Turns out Mohit has never been the same ever again. And over yonder, behold, we have Rajat's room, or as he likes to be called, Rajat. Now, you've never seen Rajat, and you never will. If you do, you'll be out of the job. <laughs> what does Mr. Rajat do? All that is unnecessary. All that you need to know is that he's your boss. All right then. And over there we have Anne. Anne is, uh, Anne's desk is uh, decorated uh, with a lot of drawings from her daughter who happens to have autism. Plus her husband is into some weird sex fantasies which he forces her into. Don't ask me how I know all of that because... And I'll be out of a job. Yeah, exactly. And of course, this is the break room. This is where it all started. This is where you had your coffee. This is where people chat, have lunch, have coffee, meet up, mingle a while, eat small portions, I think. Small portions. Okay. And over there we have Nana. Nana is a kind of kind of boss whom everyone loves, you know. Her door is always open and she always has a smile on her face. Yeah. And she always talks about elephants. She can never stop talking about it. It's gonna happen to you as it has happened to all of us. Um, you know what, uh, listen, something's come up. Uh, I'm just gonna be right back with you, okay? Good morning, and you are? Vince, ma'am. Hi, uh, you're the new employee here? Yeah. Isn't anybody showing you around? No, actually the man you were showing me about and he just had to take care of something. Oh, Peter, okay, Peter will show you around. And, uh... Peter? Nana? Uh, I'm sorry Wills, I have to get this. We'll catch up later.
I am. I am it. Hey, Danish. Nice to meet you. Wait, I haven't seen you around here, have I? No, I'm. I just joined here, and uh, the manager was giving me a tour around the office. Oh, I hope you get into the swing of things real quickly. Once you get into the hectic workload, you learn to savor the little moments in life. For me, it's it's the time I get to spend with my family. Oh, which reminds me, we have a barbecue tonight. I'm inviting a few guys over. You want to join us? No, uh, I kind of have to do something. Uh, but it was nice meeting you. Okay. See you later. Sure. Vinci, you left your cup there. Half empty or half full, huh? I see you met uh, Danish. Jolly good fellow. He's a serial killer. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, he's a serial killer. Did you not hear about it? Everyone knows. I mean, his name is The Red Line. I mean, don't worry, we're all safe here. Uh, I mean, he's got very specific requirements. Uh, yeah. The person has to be a stranger, the person has to have light, uh, light brown eyes and brown hair and he's into bank officials. Money, money. <sighs> Again, don't ask me how I know about all this because if I had to tell you, then you'll be out of a job. Right. Now let's get to some work, shall we? I'll put some um, files in the in-bin for you. It's time to get packing and I'll catch up with you shortly. All right.